Welcome back to ECMO. If you haven't already, please check us out on Patreon. Yeah, <laughs> die. Yeah. For two dollars a month, you get an extra episode every week. You're considered a vampire. Are you sucking on necks? We can't have too many people doing that. Only 69 vampires. Mm -hmm. uh, for five dollars a month, you're a Yodelanda. You get the same access as a vampire. And for twenty dollars a month, you are a Harito, the producer of the podcast. Uh, you get access to our Discord for all tiers and a bonus episode every week. Yeah. yeah. How do fish drink water? <laughs> Fucking a, dude. They filter through their gills. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> They do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I don't say anything, he's going to keep talking about fish. Wait. wait. <laughs> uh, how the fuck does a fish drink they, water? They, uh, their gills are specifically designed to <laughs> rip the oxygen from the H2O that goes through their gills. Wait, Anyways, wait, wait, wait. Ahead, do, please, do, do, you, do you think a fish looks at us and he's like, how the fuck do those motherfuckers eat air? Okay, All right, see. welcome back. My name is Gerardo. Hi, I'm Daniel Carral. What's up? I'm Melvin Diaz. And today, you know what to do, dude. Leave a like, leave a subscribe, leave a fucking comment, dude. Comment below. What's the wildest moment you ever had in your life? What's your wildest moment ever, dude? My wildest moment that I've done or just yeah. that's happened to me? That you've ever been a part of? Oh, when my house exploded. That thing was cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was insane. That man. was nuts, man. You yeah. were there. You caused the fire, remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That. 11 year old Melvin just blew up a whole I, house. I, yeah. I remember when I went to school and I heard my, the, what do you call it? I went back to school and everybody was looking at me differently, right? And and then my teacher sent me away to go run on an errand that like was just busy work. Yeah. But then I eventually heard that she told the class to be nice to me because my house exploded. <laughs> oh. She was like, I need you guys to be nice to Daniel because he's oh having a God. rough week. And were they nice to you? People were, I mean, I think they were a little nicer, yeah. Dude, wow. it was a soap factory, right? Yeah, it was a soap. I didn't know that you could soap Damn. explodes. That's apparently it does, man. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's crazy. A, that's a plot point to Fight Club, apparently, or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Nitroglycerin, bro. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, what about you, Melvin? What's the wildest moment of your life? Man, Probably this last weekend. I, to be honest with you, this oh, past weekend was insane. A wedding? <laughs> yeah, I, I was a, I was a, I was a groomsman for my my one of my best friends, and uh, we had a bachelor party. Uh -oh. You guys ever been to a bachelor party? Yeah, not it's, yet, dude. No, I, I've never been to a bachelor party. I said yeah, like you were. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, so have you? Heard <laughs> no, I've never been to a bachelor party. <laughs> it's it's insane. Everyone's super nice to you, and apparently girls can smell it on you, and like uh -huh. it's. Everywhere you Wait, go, what, they oh, smell? I, what? I, I've been to one bachelor party actually. Yeah, because I'm surprised because your wedding, your yeah. whole wedding. I, I was at a bachelor party recently, but it was it was a comedy show. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was a con. This guy had a he had a bachelor party. And then he's like, I'm gonna throw a comedy show with it. And I was like, wow, your fiance must love this. Cause most guys go to a strip club and they look and smell yeah. pussy and shit. But yeah. you're like, I just wanna watch some open mic comedy. Wow. <laughs> I wanna watch some amateurs bomb yeah. in front of 14 people. Uh, that's oh. it. That's what gets me hard. That's that's crazy. <laughs> that's I will say, I will say, I wish Daniel. DJ this wedding because oh. the wedding DJ oh, you sent was us a terrible. Yeah. I sent them a video and I was like, "This I'm, gonna, I'm about to knock this fool out." Like, <laughs> give me the, the worst songs ever. Dude. How did he sound? What did like like so? Uh, I know all about weddings. You know, I'm mean, something of a pro. I'm yes, like, yes, head yes, to toe yes, a pro. Yes. But like, the, uh, tell me about the grand entrance because this is make or break. The so wedding. so he did sound really good. Where he's just like, "Everybody, welcome the groomsman's mother." Like yeah. he was really good. But then like he, you could tell he was playing to the crowd. Ah. Uh. Cause it was a predominantly black crowd, yeah. So he was just playing like the two thousands hits, like do the Tootsie Roll and, and, the way, and, and it's just like, no, and, uh, I don't what? want no scrub. Yeah, dude, no, no. I wish you played that song. <laughs> yeah. I wish you played that song. But it was just like a bunch of like, um, I don't know, man. It was just like a it, he, and then his transitions were yeah. god awful. Let me yeah. play. Let me play devil's advocate, advocate for oh, a second. Please, right? Sometimes when I DJ a wedding, right, and it's an all white wedding, I get so nervous when there's one black guy. You know, because uh, they often give me like some whack ass playlist. And I think the black guy is looking at me. And he's like, come on, dog. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's not. It's, it's the playlist. It's a play. I want to buy one. This, this wedding was reverse. It was really? all black and one white guy. Oh, shit. Yeah. It was the one white guy was the DJ. Yeah, yeah, why yeah. They, exactly. Why, why did they get like the fucking whitest Richard Jewell looking you dude? You saw the video. He looks so sad. And he was old. He was old, too. Yeah. He was like in his 60s. I, that's the first thing I want. I'm not even going to look at this. Film. I'm going to look at the paper and be like, how old is this guy? Yeah, show me your ID. What year were you born? Yeah. Were you alive when Richard Nixon <laughs> was president? Propagated Watergate. <laughs> propagated that? Yeah. He wasn't making plants, homie. He was. He did propagate that. <laughs> yes, yeah. he was. Wait, was, 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 was that fool was from Whittier, dude. 
Yeah, no, you're Belinda, but yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, but his Richard Nixon was from Whittier. Basically, you're Belinda. Yeah, you're Belinda. what's your Belinda? It's what you're, you just call me. It's a city, dog. It's a city. I, I you're a, a fucking <laughs> Linda. You're a fucking you're idiot. A Linda, dog. I had a woke ass like uh, Mexican st- or Chicano studies teacher, uh-huh. like, uh, and he was just like, "Did you know?" It's like this guy was so woke. I had to like fact check in after. I was like, I don't know if this is fucking true. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he was just like. Richard Nixon was from Whittier, and he curated the term Hispanic because he yeah. hated fucking Mexicans. Oh like, my god! No, he would go off. He's like, he fucking was jealous of them, the way that they would take his woman. And I'm like, bro, I don't know if this is fucking. Yeah, true. Like, yeah. He, so if you don't know Hispanic, a lot, a lot of older oh yeah, but, Latino um, people don't like the term. I don't. They yeah. prefer Latino. They prefer whatever country they're from, like either Mexican yeah. or I, or Guatemalan. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he he made the term Hispanic to put an umbrella uh-huh. over all of these different ethnicities and different types of Latino people. Yeah. yeah. Which is highly disrespectful because yeah. there's so many different types. And that's why a lot of people, they just assume that if you're Latino, you're Mexican. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's all Richard Nixon's fault. Well, wait, 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 you said Hispanic though. So yeah. I, I, I personally don't like I Hispanic. Lati- yeah. no, you said, I, I, like his, I don't like Hispanic because the, you can't put any stank on the word Hispanic. Yeah. Also too, Hispanic, you can confuse me for Salvadoran. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, when, yeah, well, whenever somebody yeah. says like, okay. oh, I'll, I'll, <laughs> mix it over here, dude. Jesus Christ. Tr- tricky dick over here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> What do you call it? Whenever someone's like, I was hanging out with my Hispanic friends, and I was like, can you not call me that? They're like, oh, I'm sorry, is that offensive? I'm like, no, nah, it just sounds whack. Like, yeah. I don't want Yeah, because like, with Latino, you can say Latino, Latino, like, yeah. you know, all yeah. that, but Hispanic, you can't yeah. say you can't, it. Bro. You can't like, even say yeah. it. Try to say it with a Spanish accent. Hispanic. You just sound like a pussy. Hispanic. 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 Bro, like Eddie Guerrero, Latino, Latino heat, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Hit him with that mm. shit. Yeah. I just want to eat a, I want a kind of salad, bro. Like, I want to go to kind of salad. That shit gets me hype, bro. The L, L. At Latino world order, I love it, but yeah, Hispanic, I don't fuck with it that much. Nah, yeah. me neither. Yeah, so the, so if you're a non-Latino person, uh, try not to use the term Hispanic. Maybe just use Latino, Latino, whatever. I know a lot of people don't like the term Latinx, but that's you know I don't I, I'd rather Latinx than Hispanic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, yep. Anything with an H, I think H is a useless letter, bro. Yeah, it's like, Gerardo. Gerardo. That's not my name. Starts with a G, dude. I know, but still, it's like, still yeah. So yeah. it does start with an H. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Technically, it, if you're yeah. saying it Hispanic when Spanish, you're probably gonna say like Hispanic. You know what I mean? It's like Hispano. Just, you're, you're Hispano. Even, I've heard Hispano. Before. Hispaniola really? is Spain, right? Oh no, yeah. that's Espa- Wait, what? Hispaniola. Hispania. Hispania. Hispania is Spain. Yeah, yeah. Hispania, see. You know why Hispanic Latino sounds cool? Because it has that T in the middle. That T. You know, yeah. like it's like well, you get slapped. You get yeah, slapped slap with the word yeah. Latino heat, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, before we get into the topic for today, you wanted to say a couple words about your friend, right? Oh yeah. Well, that's why I, this weekend has been very bittersweet because not only did I celebrate one of my best friends' uh, wedding, uh, he got married to a wonderful gal, and I, you know, I love love. Yeah. Even if you're strangers or anything, I love love. I love mm-hmm. when my friends. Uh, get a partner. I, I love it. I love. I love love. I'm, I've never been one of those hater, hater ass boys. That's just like no, don't trust bitches like Andrew Tate. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I've never been like that, man. I, I love love. I you love partnerships. I love all that. Leave that to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's Daniel's responsibility. Yeah, that's Daniel's responsibility. And, and so if Gerardo, when Gerardo comes with us to like with like problems, I'm always like, you know, maybe you could work it out. Go go on a nice dinner. Daniel, on the other hand, is the exact opposite. Problematic right? poppy, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, the problematic st- poppy. The streets are calling. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. And, uh, but in the midst of it all, I ended up finding out that uh, one of uh, my old comedian friends passed away, Teddy Ray. Um, he was by far one of the funniest people I've ever had the honor of knowing and meeting and working with. Um, when I headlined the, the Regent Theater with, uh, you know, some of my best friends, he hosted the entire event like free of charge, like he just was so happy to be there, so happy to support us. He brought his his friends from All Def Comedy Jam to come and do sets, free of charge, like just, it was super awesome, super great. My parents still ask about him all the time because he had he had such a, a unique laugh. Yeah. Uh, if, if you've, anyone has ever seen him perform, he's had such a unique, he was had such a unique laugh and like, his comedy just transcended race. A- any race loved Teddy Ray. Hispanic, Latino rooms, Black rooms, white rooms, Asian rooms. Teddy Ray pulled up on stage. You were gonna laugh your motherfucking ass off, dude. And he had a he he ran a room in the fucking hood. Yeah. A lot of people say hood loosely. This was in the fucking hood. It's called the family room. He had it every Tuesday. And like I would pull up and, and perform and it, it was a tough fucking room. But Teddy Ray was so easy. It was like silk. Yeah. His comedy was like silk, dude. And uh we, we definitely lost one of the greatest uh, comedians around right now, and uh, you're only 32 years old. 
Which, which is, is wild, dude. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, we, we would go, you know, you guys know our friend DC, like we, we would go over to DC's place, we would have dinner and stuff like that, we'd hang out, man, it was, it was, it's truly a loss, uh, our, uh, rest in peace to Teddy Ray. Rest in peace. Uh, yeah. Where are you going with all that ass? Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you don't know Teddy Ray, you know Teddy Ray. He, he, he's, he's, he's iconic, he Bro, has. That video is like literally like memes, it's on yeah, Mount Rushmore, it's like top five exactly. of Twitter. Like he go, he went viral like every week, that, there's a video on Twitter everywhere that's just like. Where are you going with all that? It's a Thursday afternoon. What are you doing double cheeked up <laughs> on a Thursday afternoon? That, that's Teddy Ray. Yeah. Or like the, the other one, the other one, he's like, you're 36. You're 36. <laughs> that's Teddy Ray. Man, he would go viral left and right because he was just so personable, likable, lovable, and funny, man. Yeah. And he was the nicest guy. It's very rare to meet someone that talented and that nice. Usually yeah. people have egos. Yeah. You know what I mean? He was just the nicest fucking guy. Rest in peace, Teddy Ray. Love you, bro. I'll see you guys soon. Mm -hmm. That yeah, shit man. lives forever, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the, the content that you put out. Yeah. Look up. I highly recommend looking up his his uh, his work. Yeah. But thank you for allowing me to, to say that. Oh, yeah, dude. Teddy. No, because you know I'm in control here, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's daddy right here. It's daddy, fool. Daddy. Yeah, yeah. I actually saw a video of me earlier today saying... Uh, Daddy ate too much. You shouldn't have told us that. You should, you should have kept that to yourself. You should have taken a time step and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Miguel, can you get that out? Thank you, bro. Oh, yeah, shout out Miguel. Miguel's yeah. here. He's the new producer of the yeah, podcast, dude. dude. Yeah, it's like solidifies the whole thing. Dude. Yeah, dude. And we, I feel a lot more professional. Full, like I wore a button up today. You know what you I mean? You did, yeah. yeah. You did, yeah. yeah. Every, every time a guy walks in that looks like Drake, I'm like, nah, this is a guy. Yeah, you you're the reason why <laughs> Nixon created the term Hispanic. Because he looked at people like you and was like, these these people. These, these people. Goddamn Hispanics. Can you imagine him just like looking at people with like row ride, low riders and he's just like, he's that's like, fucking him. I got a word for them. I hate Latinos. I hate yeah, yeah, yeah. Hispanic, bro. I like, you keep saying the wrong word. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah, keep yeah, fucking yeah. up the bit, Melvin. No, 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 dude. Watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> you keep this. I, mean, I take off the headphones. I'm like, Melvin, I can't do this shit. Like, anymore. if you guys are you guys having trouble, pan, pan to the boys real quick. Yeah. Gerardo? Latino. <laughs> yeah. Daniel? Hispanic. Nah, nah, nah. If you guys are having trouble, trouble kind of trying to organize the two words. That's crazy. So when I speak to Gerardo, I say Latino. When I speak to Daniel, I say Hispanic. Hispanic. <laughs> Did you know anybody who, like, would say Latino and then out of nowhere they just started saying Latino? Yeah. That shit's crazy. Yeah, does that annoy you guys? When somebody starts- When like non-Latino people go like, oh yeah, like uh, yesterday we went out and we had some quesadillas. And like when they, they add that oomph to the to like Spanish words. Okay, so is this a hypothetical or are you talking generally? In general, like when, pe when we interact with people, like yeah. we all know people like this. Uh, well, you know when they're putting the wrong stank on something, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If they're putting the wrong stank on it sarcastically or something, it's like, you know, you know, coming, yeah. whatever, like come and go kind yeah. of thing. But if they're doing it to like, because they hear you say it that way, mm -hmm. like Brendan Cooney, for instance, mm -hmm. he, notoriously, he asked for a bottle of water at the uh, taco truck. Uh -huh. And then he asked me, he's like, how do you say bottle of water? I said, un botella de agua. Yeah. And he went, <laughs> un botella de agua. But he just thought it was funny, but it looked like he hated all Mexicans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be like Aquafina. Shout out to him. Shout out Brendan. Put up a picture of Brendan. He looks very racist. Yeah, very he aesthetically, he looks very racist, but he's the nicest fucking guy you could ever meet. Shout out Brendan. He's good in every hood. I like yeah, 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 he is. Yeah, he truly, truly. But uh, but yeah, does that bother you guys or? or? No, I, I would say generally it doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. Like I talk. I think like it all this. depends, right? Yeah. It all depends on like where uh, where it's coming from from them. Yeah. If they're trying to like connect or trying to respect the culture, then yeah. by all means, I have no problem with exactly. that. Exactly. I think it bothers me, but it's not the white people who are doing it. It's like the like Starbucks Latinas that are pulling it up sometimes where they're like, actually, I'm Latina. And I'm like, you're Latina, yeah. bro. Like, <laughs> nah. N -A -A no, you, no, baby girl, you're Hispanic. <laughs> yeah, you're, I don't know about that, you know, because they just bring it out, out of nowhere. They, yeah. they You know what I mean? But, yeah. Honestly, Gerardo, can you hurry up and get married so I can go to another wedding? Because weddings are fucking awesome. Bro, bro. Yeah. wedding's tight. Yeah, weddings are fucking awesome, dude. Free food, you get to dress up all cute. You, uh, it's like you feel like a ball, like it's a ball, yeah. like Cinderella. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get to celebrate love. You get to celebrate your loved ones and uh, open bars. You know what I mean? Like you it's do love that. It, and there's dancing uh -huh. and, and it's just like it's just it's just a great <laughs> great old time. Yeah, dude, I was I actually avoid uh, Daniel's fucking stories on the weekends because I know this was at a, a wedding. Yeah. Oh yeah, Daniel. Yeah, dude, that's how that's how I know that you're a good wedding DJ because yeah. you're at a wedding every single weekend. Yep. Yeah, and man. I get FOMO, homie. That's why it's a party, dude. Look, some people go to the, a club right to pick up on a girl, but then you go up to a girl and then uh, you ask oh, her, you, you, you ask you ask her questions. You're like, hey, oh, I'm sorry, I have a boyfriend. I'm not single. Yeah. You know what I gotta do? 
I gotta be like, hey, where are all the single ladies at? Right <laughs> I now? didn't know that, bro. I didn't know. The DJ went, yo, where are all the single ladies here? And like half the room stood up, and the girls were like, right here, right here, I'm single, right here. And I was just like, oh my god, yeah. this is. It, it would be fucking easy. And yeah, that's why when I'm DJing, I'm like. You, you, not you, not you. <laughs> wow. No, no, because somet yeah. sometimes, like, somebody will go up to me and they're like, do you have a girlfriend? You know what I mean? And at the time, I was just like, uh, what, you, what? No, they don't ask. They're like, they're like, hey, my friend thinks you're hot. And I'm like, oh, who's your friend? You know what I mean? And, yeah. like, yeah. and I'm like, I have a girlfriend. You know? Oh, what, you see them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I'm single now and I'm like, here, I have to, here's this picture of her. <laughs> you know? So I gotta have one. I gotta, I gotta yeah, have the one yeah. that wasn't deleted. Just yeah, because you, you, you want to curve someone. You want to be nice when you. Curve I want to be nice. I don't want to mess up. You know what I mean? But I have. Sometimes I've had yeah. to curve people at the wedding. Yeah, you, you, know yeah, I mean? you, you have to. I was curving a lot, a lot of people at the wedding. Your girlfriend was there. My girlfriend was there. Yeah. So I was a lot of girl, a lot of people were like, "Is that really your girlfriend?" And I was like, "Yeah." Do you want to talk to her? And people were just like, "No, no." See, even because they were scared. Yeah. E like even that your girlfriend is there, and people still don't believe that they you have a girlfriend. They still don't believe you. Like they, they just want everyone at a wedding. Wants to fuck. Oh, geez. I, everybody. I, I was on a date one. Everybody. Yeah. It, it, obviously, the bride and the groom. Uh, yeah. But everyone there wants to fuck afterwards. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, a lot of people don't talk about this. And to be honest with you, <laughs> not enough people are talking about yeah, this. Yeah. A lot of, yeah. And it was my first time being a groomsman, which was yeah. super, super special. But everyone wants to fuck the groomsman and the bridesmaid. Bridesmaids want to fuck the groomsman. The groomsmen want to fuck the bridesmaid. Guess what? A fuck other guests. Like it's fucking crazy. And I'm dude. just orchestrating it all, baby. Yeah, like, yeah. I, dude, I've you're just like with like the orchestra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes, like, I'll do this thing, right? The I'm, vibe technician. I'm, like, look, when you guys, when I say vibe technician, I fucking mean it <laughs> yeah. because I already know that it's gonna go well because I don't miss. Right? Yeah. So and I'm like, let me have a little bit of fun. There's this guy who's trying to grind with another bridesmaid, but he just keeps missing the fucking shot. Right, and he keeps yeah. missing, and I'm like playing a slow dance. I'm like, fuck the slow dance song. I just throw on temperature out of nowhere. Yeah. And this guy finally moves in, and then I'm like, and this girl, she's like, maybe feeling up, but I played like nothing but twerk music for like five minutes straight, and this guy gets, he gets his, he gets grinded on, bro. Jeez. And I just might have, I could have, I could have created a new family right there. Yeah, yeah. Damn. You know what I mean? 100%. I'm out here saving lives, dude. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. helping people out. I look, and he didn't even say thank you. That's the thing that. No, I, I, I did realize I did find a new, I had a newfound appreciation for Daniel. Thank you, because I was like. A wedding DJ is so critical to, yep. this, it to is. this thing. Some people just want to do a Spotify playlist. Don't do that, dude. You yeah. got to get yourself no, a DJ. Yeah. It's, 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 it's the, the guy that like marries the couple, or the priest or the father or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Or the, what, what are they called? Father, son, Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The priest. The priest. Uh -huh. And then it's the wedding DJ. Yeah. Yeah. I would say even more so because you go to the ceremony, you're bored. Who yeah. And then, and then after that, it's the bartender. But wait, what are all these three of these people doing, Doug? They're orchestrating a vibe, homie. The vibe, look, baby, look, exactly. look, the ceremony guy, you already know they're going to get married at the fucking end. No spoiler alert. Like, yeah. she's going to say yes. The wedding, the, we don't the, know, the reception. Oh, exactly. It's like, they oh, I hope, they, I hope they play yeah. Twerkulator. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, bro. Twerkulator pops so hard, yeah. bro. It's not even funny. It's yeah. not even I play that shit with uh, Push It by... Uh, Salt and pepper. Yeah, yeah. And oh. oh my god, they're just they're going off. Damn, you're asking them to twerk you late and then also push it. Yeah. yeah sometimes, dude. sometimes I'm like, you really are making babies. So. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, I could just make these people twerk right now. Like, even they, <laughs> if they weren't even planning on it, you, I like it, it hits you like the power that you have. You're just like, wow, oh, I'm, it, I really, I have control of these 74 people in front of me. It yeah. is, it is hit because I'm like, I'll just, it'll just be, I'll be playing like Mr. Brightside, right? And I'm yeah. like, I kind of want to change the vibe, and I'll just throw on, um, what's that song? Uh, sh well, it's by not by Mr. It's a uh, Lil Wayne, Juvenile, uh, yeah. back that ass up. Yeah. And oh. I'm like, I'm gonna, give them, I'm gonna give them 14 seconds to find somebody to throw that ass on. I just yeah. wanna see what happens. Damn. It's a lot of power, dude, and I stay abusing it. I stay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I stay yeah. abusing the power. As you should, man. I, I, I Props to you, bro, props to you. you yeah. Got, yeah, I feel like you'd be great at this, though. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I would, too. I was just thinking about that, too, because like uh, a good wedding DJ uses the mic as well. You'd be using the mic? I have to, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, kind of. I kind of let them, when, once the music starts, Nah, I love that shit speak That's the one compliment I've been getting about Daniel is that he's got such a smooth ass voice, dog. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I try yeah. to be a Absolutely. A, <laughs> I try to be cuz uh, cuz guys do they change their voice a little bit. They're like, "Hey guys, welcome to the wedding. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. are going to have such a fun time at Melvin's wedding." Yeah, yeah. It's a oh, fucking we, carnival? Does it what, 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 I, I'm not going to say your girlfriend's name. I'm like, yeah. "Doesn't Melvin's girlfriend look delightful today?" Yeah, guys? yeah exactly. Let me say it again. Doesn't she look wonderful and <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're here in this gorgeous event here at Studio M and I'm like, "Now hit him with DJ Danny Vice." Danny right? Vice. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to this. Is literally, I say, I have to say, I say the same shit every single week. Yeah. Uh, I will get, I'll give me a girl's name that isn't your girlfriend's name. Uh, uh, Lisa. Welcome to Lisa and Melvin's wedding reception.
And then I'm like, no, no, no. I said, we're at Melvin's wedding reception. I need y'all to do better than that. I'm about to bring in our bridal party. I'm like fucking cutting a wrestling promo, but I'm like, I need y'all to turn that energy up yeah, to 110%. Yeah. And yeah. then just like, oh, oh, oh and I'm, like, I'm ready to twerk after that. Bro, bro. it's a party. Yeah, I'm ready to bust I'm ready to bust this shit open after Yo, that, dude. People don't get like weddings, they're like, oh, we wanted to be nice and rough. No, it's a party, yeah. dude. Yeah. It's a party. That shit yeah. has to crack. Like if yeah. your wedding doesn't crack, they're called, it, yeah, they call it uh, wedding reception, but bro, it should be wedding party. Imagine yeah. that you spent fifty thousand dollars for a day that didn't crack. Yeah, one hundred percent. You're one hundred percent right, dude. You yeah. didn't you you didn't come to me. If I spend one hundred and twenty dollars to go go karting and I don't win, I'm upset. And that's yeah, one hundred twenty. Yeah, that you know yeah. I mean? or almost die. Yeah, like, it's like, dude, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. What did I do? The fuck? I could have just drove, driven here with yeah. my car. Yeah, exactly. You need to have some action at the wedding. Yeah, I mean, yes. I'm talking, like every, it just needs. There needs to be something that pops. Yeah, bro. you need to. You need to come up. You know what? Like, I, I can picture you like, just like asserting yourself and just analyzing the group and mm -hmm. finding like the lead, the most awkward guy. And the most quiet archer guy, and then being like, I'm gonna make sure this guy rips his shirt open this, before the fucking that, When I open. say vibe technician, I try doing that oh. with the temperature thing. I'm like, this guy, I know he's not doing the greatest outside. And I, cause I felt like the girl wasn't into him, or she might have been, but she's she was like uh, on the fence, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like, I have the power to help this guy get a number Dang. or not get a number. Yeah. And I'm gonna use this power to help my boy spit some game. <laughs> and I, mean, I felt like a, his fairy godmother, but for ass. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, like fairy I, ass mother. Fairy yeah. ass mother, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's better, that's better than yeah, yeah, that's yeah. better than a hairy ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of sick. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I was throwing like songs. You'll be the cock father. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah dude. Yeah. I was just throwing out the left. I was hitting them with it. Yeah, Hit, yeah. And Damn. then he was just getting that thing thrown back on. Damn, him. that's some real like weakest link type thing. You're like looking for the weakest link. Yeah, because link. if you take care of the weakest link, everyone else is gonna be fine. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? And, and that's what I want to do. I wanna and I, I gotta have a good time too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. Since but, we're on this subject, yes. right? You're gonna yeah. get married. No, oh, no, 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 Congratulations, my boy. I'm going to hit you up, though. Okay. Yeah. Right. If you want the shit, look, if you want your wedding to crack, I'm the guy you yeah. talk to. Yeah, hit if him up, Daniel the underscore goat. Danny the goat, they call me Danny Vice. Danny, DJ Danny Vice. Danny, Danny Vice. I did a wedding this weekend, and the guy took the mic at the end. He's like, and make some, the, the, the groom, right? He's like, and make some noise for DJ Danny Vice. Wow. Wow. That must be, like, better than payment. Bro, I fucking was so smooth at this wedding. Validated. You're probably, validated. Yeah, I played the last song, and then he did that shit at 9.59, and then I'm like, I'm gonna play one more minute of a song. And I had one more time by Daft Punk queued up right yeah. where they say one more time. That shit popped off. <laughs> hey, I was like, oh, and you know, oh. the, the beautiful thing is I like I want to create a memory for somebody. Yeah. Because a memory, a picture is cool, you know what yeah. I mean? But a memory, you always remember how somebody made you feel. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly. It. If like nobody remembers, like you could have done, you could get you could have did something cool for somebody, you could have fucked with somebody, but how you made them feel, yeah, they'll never forget yeah, that. Yeah, because all, all your people, they're gonna be like, Yeah, they're, they're not gonna remember any of the songs you played, but they're they're gonna remember, yo, and I bust that shit open at the oh, wedding reception because mm -hmm. the DJ was cracking, bro. Cracking. Yeah, no a, refunds on memories, no homie. Exactly. Refund. Nah, memories exactly. Is, yeah, no refunds anything to do yeah. <laughs> I told you I had this girl this lady text me two years after the fact she was like you were a shitty DJ at our wedding I'm two like two years why what? are you trying to me to me with the DJ shit like you should have said that shit immediately <laughs> damn don't be waiting two years for this shit did she really text you that yeah and I tried I sent her a text and she didn't respond back I still have her phone number I'm like, wow. I might pull I might kill Tony and call her right I'm like, I would love to have this down the line you call this girl and we record the conversation yeah I would like and like have you be like hey I'm uh, doing a I'm, I don't know doing a survey for this DJ company I want to see how your wedding was. Just do your yeah. Melvin voice. And then yeah. she'll be like, he was a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he didn't play the black eyed peas. Oh. <laughs> He fucking. I was, I was, I was a yeah. lesbian couple too, and I was, and I've done lesbian weddings. You know, I've done gay weddings. Gay oh. weddings. I'm. I don't know if I should say this, but gay weddings are so much more fun. Oh, really? I can imagine, dude. I can imagine so much more. Gay weddings. They're like the funniest shit in the world, bro. <laughs> Damn, dude. I, that's sh like dude, I, did I got invited to a gay wedding once, and I, I just couldn't make it because I had prior you're, engagements. Because you're homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just can't look past this homophobia. Yeah, like, like, I can work with you, Francisco, but I'm not going to your wedding. <laughs> I'll, I'll go to the wedding, but are you sure you have to kiss at the ceremony? <laughs> <laughs> no, and I, and I just couldn't make it because I think I was out of town at the time. And uh -huh. I'm like, damn it, bro. Like, that would have been my... Flex. That would have been so cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, it's, it's so much fun. Yeah? Hell yeah. Wow. This shit felt like a... Well, give me a tier. Give me a tier. Like, obviously, you think the gay weddings are the best. What are, what's what's number two? Uh, let's see. All right. So, uh, I'll, bottom tier. I'll, let me go bottom tier first. Okay. Bo right. Bottom tier. Uh, Asian and white together. Oh, Eight. so if the, the man's Asian and the woman's white, or vice versa? Man, you like you understand the people might think this is problematic, but this is coming from experience. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, is yeah. Like, this is mad. This is yeah. statistics. So yeah. I do, I do a wedding all like maybe two, sometimes two, one
So their family, everybody's just fucking shy. Uh, you know what I mean? We're on a yacht. Nobody was dancing. Yeah. We're, I, we've said some shit like, who's going to be the first ones to dance to our newlyweds? None of these motherfuckers got out. <laughs> Nobody. Wow. You know what I mean? Matt, if you're getting married, I'm going to be like, I'm going to go turn up with Melvin. That's yeah. why I came to go yeah. to this wedding. Yeah. Nobody got up. Everyone was just watching the newlyweds dance by themselves. Doc, uh, when I get married, I'm going to hit the splits at least three times. Dude, you have to. Yeah. You have to. And I'm surprised you can. Because you, you, can, you can do the splits. Dude, do the splits. I woke up the day after my sister's wedding. Granted, I got really drunk mm -hmm. even before the reception. Yeah. I woke up and I was uh, 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 limping like my thighs. I thought yeah, my thighs yeah. were gone uh, for the rest of my life. Wow. Absolutely. Because not only did I hit the splits, I, I no, I literally hit the splits. Like, you know, the fucking Bruno yeah, Mars yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. That's, I was Gerard Mars, uh -huh. homie. That's tight. You know I mean? That's, that's awesome, that is dude. tight, bro. I would pay to see that, dude. That's, dude. dude. I really have to stretch, though. Propose really already, bro. What's that? Just propose. Just propose. Oh, yeah. You're right. Just propose. Maybe lose a couple pounds. Propose, oh, shit. Imagine right? skinny. A little bit. A couple, couple more thousand uh, followers on the ASMO podcast. <laughs> Get us there. Because if we get, if we reach 500,000 followers on ASMO uh, podcast, TikTok, Gerardo will propose to his girlfriend. Yeah, this dude's really going to TikTok live his wedding. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to switch it. He's going to twitch his wedding. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Nah, for reals, though, uh, also, <laughs> shout out to Jesus, dog. Jesus' last episode, that shit oh, popped off. Yeah, man. That was and, awesome. And if you want Jesus back, let us know, because who knows? Who yeah. Knows, yeah. Knows, yeah, he's the homie. Uh, yeah. We, yeah. we might work with him some, on something else down the line. Yeah, so. yeah I love that guy. So, yeah, dude, dude, he, actually, work he hates me, but I love him. <laughs> Yeah, he, 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 yeah, yeah, a lot of people were fucking confused by the end. Dude, I was so happy to see people uh, messaging us. Dude, there was like about, three DMs. About the therapy shit? The therapy oh, shit. You, you, you removed some parts because it was like you guys going back at me. Just like, no, nah, just go to therapy. And I was like, I don't want to go to therapy. It's like fucking green eggs and ham. I'm like, I don't want to have it here or there. I don't want to I don't want to go to therapy with a fox. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to go to therapy in a box, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, and then I don't know where we're trying to end it, but you're still up on this fucking yeah, mountain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Drew was like, all right, anyways, thank you. Just for coming out, and then Jan was like, "Yeah, but but but, but the reason why I don't want to go to therapy yeah. is because." Uh on, yeah, so the like a, there was so many comments about that, but I'm yeah. every single run I've read, I'm like, damn, fool, they really stayed to the end. I, they you did. Know that they did. Yeah, that, that's what made me happy. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. You gotta wait. Well, you're not gonna get it unless you watch the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You know I mean? yeah. exactly. But, but no, I want to say thank you. We got like 1,500 followers on Spotify mm -hmm. and on YouTube, mm -hmm. and that shit means and the world to us. Thousands of followers on, on TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah, it's fucking 25,000 followers yeah. on TikTok. And they're all a lot. A lot of comments are fucking positive and shit. Everyone's having a good time. Oh yeah, it just was super cool, dude. I I put a bunch of people text me privately saying like, yo, that new guy on Isimo is so fucking hilarious. Yeah. And I'm like, well, he's not, you know, he's a guest. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, Zeus is funny. Wait till we have guests and shit down oh, the yeah, like, Wait till you hear Miguel, our producer, dude. Yeah, yeah. wait till you hear this Hell one. Hell yeah, dude. We'll yeah. probably have him on a Patreon episode really soon. Uh, that would be yeah. awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah dude. But so, uh, speaking of wild, yeah. Jesus is wild, right? Do you uh -huh. want, did you want to say something? No, no, go ahead. Uh, we live in the Los Angeles area, right? Yes. Uh -huh. And there's been a wild ass Epidemic. Arc, arc, epidemic. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you, sir. Yeah. Uh, both in the Anaheim area and in the downtown Los Angeles mm -hmm. area near the Arts District, there is the 6th Street Viaduct, which should have been called the 6th Street Bridge. When's the last time you ever heard of the word viaduct? I, literally driving over here, I saw a sign, 5th Street Viaduct. And I was like, what? What the fuck? Like, yeah. I hear, I, you know, aqueduct. Yeah. But they just call it, it's a bridge. Yeah, it's a bridge. bridge. It's a fucking bridge, which is where I think the inception of hatred and anger came from, dog. Mm -hmm. It's like, why viaduct, homie? Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, don't call yeah. me That's, that shit. Yeah. Viaduct. Imagine if Richard Nixon called us viaducts. Hey. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll play. The motherfucking and, viaducts are <laughs> taking our jobs. And, and then like in 2022, they're like, well, actually it's viaducts with an X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. viaducts X. That yeah. would make more sense though. Yeah, actually yeah. with viaducts. Yeah. Hispanics yeah. makes more Hispanics. sense. Oh, Hispanics. 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 Hispanics rolls off the tongue really well. Yeah. Yeah. Hispanics kind of sounds like some cereal in the morning. I mean like oh, yeah, Hispanics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we couldn't get Frosted Flakes, so I'm eating Hispanics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No it's, Cocoa Puffs. It's not black, it's brown. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Just <laughs> munching on cacao it. Puffs, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, cacao Puffs. I'm like, why does this shit taste like salt and lemon, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah. is there chamoy in my cereal? Oh, like? God. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's like a, it's a, the newest addition to the the Los Angeles landscape, and it's um. an absolutely gorgeous bridge. Dude, yeah. have you, bought, you gone on it? I yet? have, yeah. Oh, shit, because yeah. last week you did not. I did it, yeah. yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's beautiful, but... We've run into a couple problems since it's opening uh -huh. a couple weeks ago. But you know why, though? Why? God, we like to get wild, homie. Exactly. We, we do like to exactly. get wild, bro. There's an, it's an epidemic well, of foolishness. Tell the people what's been going on, dude. Okay, so you know better than I do. Fuck yeah, yeah. Because you were there the first day it was open, basically. Yeah, I was there like first week, yeah. yeah. I was there in the mix, bro. Go for it. I was there. It. The, the six, I'm
And when I say predominantly, I mean 98.99% yeah. Latino. Foo Central, Boyle Heights Arts District, right? Whites, yep. black, um, not whites, whites and Mexicans linking up. You know what I mean? Imagine they fight for control of the bridge. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's connecting the bridge and just people have been going out there. and they Battle just been, of the bridge. They just been acting like out of pocket, foolish, yeah. Ignorant as hell, yep. and it's just it's wild. I went on the bridge with my with the homie Lewis about two weeks ago. I because yeah. he was talking shit. He's like, it's just a bridge. I don't see what the hype is about. This motherfucker got so wet over the bridge. Dude, like, the view a, coming, the, yeah. view, the view coming to downtown. Yes, so beautiful. It's insane, it's dude. Great. And the, the, it, it's six massive, so twelve in total, massive arches, right? Uh huh. And they have LED lights going along it. Yeah, it's 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 a marvel. It's it's incredible. It's, it's great, <laughs> and it's it was open for three days. Yes, just three days, and there was already a car accident because somebody was doing yeah, a bunch burnout. of car accidents, bunch of burnouts, bunch of donuts. Yeah. someone was getting a haircut in the in middle. The, in the yeah. middle. In the middle, some they were shooting podcasts on the side. That yep. was kind of fun. That's gonna be yeah. us. That's gonna yeah, be yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was bro, actually I, our idea. And, but like, and, <laughs> and like you think that this shit is just a meme, but you go there and shit's pot. Like I made it's I was, a vibe. I was dude. making a left right, and this little like. 15 year old dude like this fucking Mexican food he was like hey fool give me a ride <laughs> I was like bro I don't fucking know you he's like nah bro for real I just live right over there and I was like you're fucking wild bro and I dude, just peeled community, out community bro it's, it, I, I, I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna say something bro yeah. I'm gonna say something right now yeah say it for for uh, for everyone for the people of Los Angeles for the, the officials that were in charge of creating this bridge yeah I want you guys to know that it's a good thing that people are wilding out on this bridge because that means they love it. That's they're true. showing love. Mm -hmm. they, they're showing joy. They're showing, uh, you know, just having plain old fun. You know what I mean? Because if they didn't fuck with it, no one would talk about it. Yeah. It would and be you, a white and Asian reception. Exactly. You're mm -hmm. not going to, you know, you, yeah. you spend millions upon millions of millions and millions of dollars on this bridge. And if no one talks about it, it would be a failure. Yeah. But people are coming. People are showing community. People are showing their joy because if, if you're not from L.A., Things like this only happen on the west side, Beverly Hills, yeah. Westwood, Santa Monica, the unveiling of, of new infrastructure and new architecture. Uh, architecture. Uh, you know, this is a feat in architecture. It only happens on that side. Mm -hmm. So for it to happen on our side, East LA, South Central, you know, downtown LA, it's a special, special moment in time. And people are just showing their happiness and their joy. And and they're they're showing their their love and how proud they are of Los Angeles, the city yeah. of Los Angeles and being from Los Angeles. And at the end of the day, it's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous mm. bridge. You drive down going from east to west, you see the downtown skyline during the golden hour. Dude, I'm so yeah. happy I went that way the first time. Exactly, oh, during yeah. the sunset, mm. it, you feel like you're in a movie. Yeah. yeah. Of course people are gonna wild out yeah. because yeah. It's, gorgeous. it's gorgeous. And also with Latinos, there's a difference between wild and violent. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, that absolutely, true, 100%. That, that, and we yeah. talked about this. Yeah. Bro, there's people selling food, serving food, giving out free water, giving out drinks. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, it's them showing their appreciation to the city of Los Angeles. And to other people, it seems like it's a riot. It seems like they're vandalizing yeah. the place. It seems like they're taking, you know, they're 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 disrespecting it, but yeah. no, it's the exact opposite. It is love. It's yeah, that's all I'm gonna yeah. say it's about an, the fucking Sixth Street Bridge. Yeah, it's an exhibition of culture. It is, exactly. It is. Thank well, you, it'd bro. be cool if these motherfuckers didn't crash into the bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't want I wouldn't want them to tag on this shit of that that quick. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, don't yeah, tag yeah, on the bridge. There's a couple of shit. No, but the the shit that is fun though is just like when I went there, it did feel like food's gone wild, turned into a place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People were just fooling it up, dude. It really it did feel like a it was a pop art store for food's gone wild. Now L.A. is a city where you drive you don't really walk too many yeah. places but i walked i walked with my dog right and then people were just like hey fool, he's like a little fox huh and i was like <laughs> he is like a little fox he is, he like is, a little he fox. is. Yeah. Um, and then i'm like this is elvis the sheba bro I felt bad though because Elvis took a fat shit on the bridge. <laughs> you just left it there? No, I picked it up. Oh, okay. But then I walked across the bridge and was like, why can't I hold shit the entire time, bro? <laughs> right. So you just launched it off? <laughs> <laughs> You're the reason why they closed the bridge down, bro. It landed on it's a true. fucking engineer, probably. It was like, oh, Dude, I, like, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> Close it up. And then I heard a helicopter come out. I'm like, they finally got me. <laughs> I'm like, you ain't taking me alive, coppers. <laughs> no, yeah, and they're, they're planning on like, Built, you know, uh, the, building the, something beautiful park, below, yeah, yeah, yeah. Park down yeah, below, which yeah. is, I'm really excited for that. I'm yeah. excited. It looks nice, and people are wild now, and maybe it'll last for a minute. But it, at the end of the day, the bridge is nice. People are, but we we got to chill with the other one that we're about to talk about right now. 
fucking oh. whatever what is happening at yeah. Knott's Berry Farm oh yeah it dude. Is absolutely needs to stop yeah that's, kind of, that's not culture at the, all that's the, the, you can't have, that's ignorance you can't have a riot in Camp Snoopy bro like, oh, dude. you can't throw a Molotov cocktail you're scaring the, the you're scaring all the freaking the, the, the yeah. cowboy actors man yeah. they don't want to they don't want to act out if they're their life is in jeopardy. Yeah, dog. I just, I just want to go get some fucking jelly and jam, homie. Yeah, yeah. Knott's- I just want to get on Silver Bullet three exactly. times in a row and go on about my day. Have you guys been in Knott's? Like, when's the last time you were there? Uh, Honestly, maybe fucking 1997. 1997? Well, I, a couple no, years ago. You know, a couple so you, years so you're ago. you're like 30, right? And, uh, <laughs> when I was in 1997, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, when went, you graduated <laughs> high school in 1997. <laughs> yeah. I, went, I went with my girlfriend at the time, right? And, um... We are standing in line, and Knott's Berry Farm doesn't have that thing at Disneyland where you're standing in line, and they're like, oh, three, four, four to a cart. Oh, These yeah. motherfuckers just, if you're there, you take it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it, like, it, like you know what I mean when there's the guy who's like, how many? How many? Yeah, how many? Yeah, yeah, it helps yeah. organize the line at Knott's. So it's an inside job, dude. Yeah, at Knott's, it's just crazy. It's just, they wild out, and people really stay cutting it, and I'm like, I can't swing on a 16-year-old, yeah. bro. Yeah. 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 yeah I yeah. would. I would oh, the Edgars were out in full force. Dude. Yeah. yeah, you see that TikTok where like, it's like a three minute long TikTok and they they like recorded 14 different Edgar fights. Uh-huh. Like wow. different Edgars too. Wait, wait, so I know maybe it is. Okay, so the Sixth Street Bridge is lovely, right? Yeah. But what's happening at Knott's is violent. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's crazy. And it's, and it's ma- private property too. It's making <laughs> yeah. us look bad, bro. It is, it is. It, oh, I don't understand Edgar haircuts. Like, do they do that on purpose? Yeah, this fool, I was with I talk- don't either. Yeah, I was talking to Vince. And he's like, well, actually, it's an indigenous haircut. I'm like, bro, it's a fucking bowl haircut. No, it's 2022, really dog. I, I had no idea it was an indigenous. It looks like an indigenous haircut. Indigenous. I mean, bro, that shit looks terrible, bro. That yeah. made me fucking happy that, like, yeah. <laughs> that shit that I, I'm like, whoever invented the comb over, shout out to them. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like it's like, Knottsbury Farm is like the, it's like the, the place that you go where you can't, when you can't afford Disneyland. Yeah, you know it is, dude. Like a Knott's Berry Farm annual pass, I paid ten dollars a month. Wow. When I had a Disneyland pass, it was eighty five dollars yeah. a month. Yeah. yeah, that's a. That's I got a, a Disney pass for a girl, and I only went with her once. Who? 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 Uh, my my ex from high school. Damn, you like, did all this shit for this girl, and you never even like. <laughs> you never. You didn't even stay with her, bro. You went to Sacramento. Damn, dude! Wow, <laughs> Damn, fucking, stop. Okay, yeah. A Disneyland pass, bro, with a girl in high school. Yeah. How you how you afford that shit? I sold chips and that shit's expensive. Man. <laughs> Dude, he did. I remember Daddy used to fucking sell chips. Yeah. And like, and then uh, all of a sudden, uh, this other guy that was selling chips decided to bring hot cheese in a in a cooler. Oh, shit. And he started serving hot, uh, hot Cheetos with cheese. You're, you guys remember that? You guys know that? Yeah, yeah. It's fucking asshole. Hey, ran him out of, ran no, him out no, of business. No, that ain't what ran, ran, that, ran that, that is, out of business, That is dude. not what ran me out it of business. It was the fucking Cheeto Wars of 2012, Bro, that brother. shit was crazy. I had three people working for me, right? And I would just sell, sell, sell. And in my history class, they'd all pay up. And then the teacher, I'd make, I'd make the teacher watch as they all gave me the money. And he would just be like, Mr. Cabral, you can't be doing this in class. And I'm like, why? Because I'm making more money than you right now. <laughs> that was the same teacher that cried during Gandhi, dude. Dude, yeah. What a, I, I, what a, <laughs> no, I had three people. And I started doing this stuff. I'd selling, I started selling gummy worms with Kool-Aid in it. Yeah. And that was a big oh, sell. I don't know why people shit, just Shit, I remember that. Yeah, they were addicted to this shit, right? Dude, you guys ever had that shit? Bro, people no. really thought that I washed my hands when I put that shit in. Oh, shut the fuck <laughs> <laughs> they really, wow. they really thought I was. No, I'm just playing. I'm like the COVID nineteen outbreak. I started that. Shit. Damn, <laughs> nah. bro, you started monkeypox. Nah, but these people, the, the, the administrators, they're like, we we heard a rumor that you're putting vodka in the gummy gummy worms. <laughs> no fucking way. And they're like, we gotta smell them, and they had to taste them. And I was like, bro, if you're just gonna taste them, just taste them. Oh my Don't god. Don't tell me this lie. Yeah, I will say, man, Latinos at my high school, they were the most hardworking. They got pure D's and F's, but like, man, they were making <laughs> two hundred bucks a day, bro. Yeah, yeah. selling hot Cheetos, uh-huh. chips. Kool Aid, Capri Sun. Yeah, bitch. yeah. I think I told you about the story once. How I, I could yeah. the, the 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 duffel bag. See, the the difference between me and you guys is that when I went to school, they were selling this at school. Oh, uh, yeah. So like Damn, they they, nice, they enacted some sort of law in Michelle, California. Yeah, yeah. Michelle. Oh yeah, that. I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah Michelle, Mich- Michelle, Michelle didn't do that. Michelle Obama. That was her big thing. Getting kids health. Remember she had those fucking biceps. She'd be like, Phew. <laughs> you, know. you remember? You remember Michelle Obama's biceps? I do remember Michelle Obama's. Oh, she I thought had, she was. I thought she was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I still she, think she's beautiful. You thought she was bad, huh? Yeah, she's kind of bad. Yeah. She's kind of bad. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no. All we had was sun chips and like oh. the dry kind. No, no. Nah, I used to get zero calorie sun chips. I used to get bagels with cream cheese and hot uh, Cheetos and a cactus cooler. That, that sounds, was my lunch. That sounds about yeah. right, bro. That's that sounds. Very, yeah, that sounds. <laughs> that sounds very nice. You, you know, you know, you know, the math is actually math. <laughs> I'm like, it's crazy. This shit is all adding up. Perfect. I regret saying anything, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like, damn, we got to open and shut case. Why'd you look at me like that, fool? You were like, that sounds about right, fool. Very disrespectful. Yeah. Very disrespectful. Yeah, 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 dude. I like that. That's true. Damn, That's fool. I forgot you lived at Knott's Berry Farm, homie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bro, the Knott's Berry Farm fried chicken is so good. Really? Yeah, if you if you still live if your house never blew up, you would have a fucking Edgar haircut. I swear yeah. to God, yeah. yeah. In Frogtown, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah. You, dude, imagine like we just like uh, wore bald caps and just had a professional come in and gave us that haircut like for, yeah. for the episode. Dude, I would be down. I'd be down. That'd too. be pretty funny. We just pull. <laughs> if we all get Edgar haircuts, yeah. but my hair is curly. I can't. Edgar no, no. It. But we have. Let's say because you do like you. Whenever they do like a haircut on SNL or something, right? Yeah. They like yeah. just you have to put on a bald cap. You have to go yeah, through like yeah. we, have, oh. we have a hair and makeup artist come in. Who could yeah. do this? If you do hair and hey, makeup, hit us up. Yeah. If you could do a, a we'll Edgar hair and makeup, we'll give, pay you forty dollars. We, yeah, yeah, we got we got some. Melvin is balling right now, dude. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, I wish. He, owns, he, owns <laughs> a studio. he was just in Vegas for a bachelor party. I don't, <laughs> no, I wasn't in Vegas, bro. But we went to this boat. And if the water was so choppy, mm -hmm. so I took like eight pill, eight uh, eight pills, eight uh, means? yeah, trauma means. Bro, if you, that shit can kill you. Yeah, no, I don't know if I could. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'd rather I'd rather die from trauma mean than, than throw <laughs> up in front of all the pets, all, all the guys. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And uh, it was super cool, man. I remember we we pulled up to this bar. And I was just like, bartender, give me twenty shots of tequila right now. Oh, you're a fucking crazy. And person. then I was just like, I was like, how much are, how much is each shot? And she's just like, fourteen dollars. I was like, wait. What? She was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was $7 each. And I was like, okay. All right. Yeah. For sure, for sure. For and then sure. everyone was all lit. They're like, yeah. And then you, they saw you take 20 shots and they're like, what the fuck? No, I, I took a, so one of my, one of the boys was sober. He's been oh. sober for four years. Congrats. So I had to take his two shots. And then uh, the other guy was like, oh, I've already been drinking Hennessy. So I, don't, I can't mix. There's always like, that guy who's like, I can't, I can't mix. You know the rules. It's like, like oh. so I took his two Dr. shots. Fauci over so here. I took like <laughs> six straight tequila shots to the fucking dome. Sounds about right. Yeah. Man. And I was like, oh, what's that? I texted you guys like, I love you guys. Yeah, I was like trying to DJ when like, Melvin's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> uh. yeah, yeah. Like you, your phone, like your text, the text message sound would keep popping up on the speakers for everyone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's happened before, dude. Yeah, I when I'm, I'm like, I got that's like I put that shit on airplane because I put it on sometimes. Do not disturb it. Sometimes yeah. motherfuckers will still text me. I'm like, oh, I'm fucking. Yeah. I know. Isn't that weird on do not disturb mode? They give you the option. They're like, hey, just so you know, this person is do not disturb. Do you still want to send them? Yeah. And they give you the option to like send it again. Yeah, it, the fucking phone should tell me if they chose that so that I can block their number, dog. Yeah. It should be a secret that I'm on do not disturb. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like it's like imagine you're not talking to somebody and it's like. Hey, you know they're not talking to you, right? And it's like, no, that's just me. That's that's. Yeah, it. I didn't know that. They, they, yeah, they, I don't know why they have that. It's What's like, Apple, Apple, hit us up if you want to come on the podcast and explain yourself. Yeah. Right? That's like if you have someone blocked and then and you try text them, they're like, just so you know, this person's blocked. But yes. you, do you still want it? Yeah. Do you still want the, your text to reach yeah. them? Yeah. yeah. Fucking Tim Apple, bro. I can't stand that guy. <laughs> Tim, Tim, Tim Apple. Apple. That's a fucking idiot, is what Tim you. Tim Apple. Is. Yeah. Like that guy. But yeah, they're wild. They're wilding out right now. And I'm like, I might be the fucking. Imagine I dress up as Batman. And I pull up a Knott's Berry Farm and I start fighting Edgars. Dude, oh my God. Dude, the Edgar Batman? Could you fight? Yeah, uh, me? Yeah. I could fight a 16 year old, yeah. But, but can you fight 10 16 year olds? Yeah, nah. probably, yeah, I think I could. I, think I, got, could. I, got, I got Batman, I got a utility belt. Dog, you know how big these 16 year olds are? I'll fuck up a 16 year old, bro. No, you couldn't. You don't think I could? 16, I, think, I think two 16 year olds could probably take you. Nah. nah. What about 10 16 year old Melvins, dog? 16 year old Melvins? But what was that? I was a junior. You were so. a junior. Yeah. So remember, Junior Melvin, you think you could fight me? I'll probably just beat you in my mind. Oh, <laughs> shut the fuck he, up. This yeah. one pulls out. How could you? All right, so we, there you go. Uh, how would you beat me with, with He pulled out his turntables, dog. No, 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 I'm 16 years old. 16 year old? Yeah, so I'm, this was 10 years ago. So 16, yeah. I'm like, you're 16 year old. Hey, Melvin, you're, you're going to go to Sacramento State. That's going to be a real good idea, huh? Yeah, I yeah. bet you're going to have a fucking lovely time over there. Yeah, yeah I'm excited, man. I'm really excited to, yeah. to, to, get, to go to college. I hope that doesn't cost you a relationship in the future, Melvin. And then you're going to be like, oh, what is this guy doing? <laughs> well, I wasn't even with her my junior year, so I'd be like, who? I'm not in a relationship. What are you, da dude, Daniel smokes crack, dude. No wonder he <laughs> plays baseball. Yo, this pussy fucking plays baseball. And everyone was like, fuck you, Daniel. Dark and I would turn everyone against you, bro. And he's like not. stage diving and shit. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be in the back of your head and be like, man, should I go to Sacramento State? No, no, no. It, it, it would be a ticking time bomb. So at first, it seems like a bloop in your face. Mm -hmm. But a year and a half later, I'll be in my room, lights off, and being uh -huh. like, You're, all, all I would be able to hear are your words. Mm hmm and all, all that I've lost. Yeah, and I live in your head, dude. Yeah. Did you have a roommate in Sacramento? Yeah, yeah, I had my best friend. Wait, your roommate, like a dorm room? No, I, I had my own apartment Thank in a gated community. God, bro. So. Wait, have you, did you ever dorm at a place? No, I wish I did. I, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I never wanted to, I, I, I missed it's, out on the
yeah, but yeah, it's fun for the first couple of months because it's like you know you get to meet friends and stuff like that. Yeah, there's always events that you can go and meet people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very easy to hook up with people. But uh, yeah, on a after bed. that, yeah, exactly. After that, it's just like damn, like. I'm, you know, I'm starting to get footing in this new city, but I don't have a place. I live in a dorm. Like, yeah. I, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, and it gets annoying having like a constant roommate. Like the rooms are like this big. Yeah, that's. You know what I'm saying? And the, the beds and, and you, you kind of like, I hate sharing bathrooms and stuff like that. I sh- it, Don, it have you seen my apartment? It's the size of this room. No, but yeah, it's but your, you don't have your, a roommate. Your apartment though. No, I know, but I wouldn't mind one. No, but you have to share with somebody else, though. I, w- I wouldn't mind. No, no, that's, yeah. that's, you're like, I'm, I'm lonely. The, you're eight and you, you now, you wouldn't mind, but. I guarantee you, 18, 19 year old Gerardo would hate it. Nah, fool, I would have loved it, dude. Really? No, I, I told my mom uh, when I was a senior in high school, I was like, or when I was a junior, I was like, <clears throat> I always pictured myself like, you know, in a dorm room in college, you know? And then my mom's like, ha ha, never, fool. She wouldn't let you? She wouldn't let me. And wow. I told her, I wouldn't mind if I did that and I had to pay Isn't for it. Isn't that crazy you know? that, like, I was just talking to my mom the other day. She, when I was a junior, this senior girl asked me out to prom, to her prom. And I was like, yeah, of course. Who, who? I'll tell you after, after. And, uh, you just bleep her name. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. Just tell us after. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, she, uh, and I was like, yeah, of course. And she made this whole spectacle. Your mom? No, this girl. <gasps> asked me out in, front, in the quad and stuff like that. And then fucking... And then I go home and I'm like, mom, I'm going to the, the prom. Like, and she was like, no, you're not. Wait, this was JDD, not prom, right? No, I was a junior. She was a senior. Keep up. Oh, wait, so this is shit. This happens just multiple times where people make a spectacle for yes. you and then you don't go with them. Yes. That's crazy. Yes. Oh, because you're thinking about another one. Dude. Yeah. Bro, bro. It's so crazy because like, I, I was just telling, I was telling my girl this because like, uh, you know, I had to get a suit for, for the, yeah. the wedding. And I was like, yeah. And then my mom was just like, no, you're not. I'm like, why not? And she's like, because you're already going to the junior, there's a JDD junior dinner yeah. dance and you're going to prom next year. You just waste some money. And then who's this girl anyways? Are you with her? And then I'm just like, no, she's like, I just, you know, I want to go. I'm a junior. Like, it'd be cool. She was like, no, I'm not letting you. And, it, and she was, it was like the first time she ever put her, put her foot down on something that I wanted to do. And I remember being like, I had to go to the girl. I'm like, I can't go because my mom is not going to let me. And she thought I was lying. Bro. She was like, just fucking be a man. Be a fucking man and tell me the truth. Tell me you don't like me. You don't fuck, you're hanging out with some other girl. And I'm just like, I swear to God, my mom said no, dude. She did, To this day, she has not talked to me since. She, 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 to this day, she still thinks I'm lying. Yeah. And, uh, and then <laughs> even with some quinceañeras too, like I, my, when I was a freshman and sophomore, I had, I had some friends who were like, wanted me to be chambalans for their quinceañera. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Hispanic. Oh, yeah. Hispanic. 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 This, I might, it might have been true. Well, no, clear me. the record now, dude. Tell tell the people that you know it wasn't a lie. It's a, I wasn't. I didn't go to these events because my mom didn't let me do it. I swear to God. Cry a little bit so they believe you. I wish I could have fucked all of you guys. Wait, don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. I, and, and maybe I think she's right because like I, if I would have gone to these events, like who knows? I mean, look I know, how great you are now. I know. Yeah, exactly. I know. I know a couple people that got pregnant off of that prom. That prom? 2013's prom? No, 2012's prom. Oh no, 2012. That was a- yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So I was. Yeah, so I was gonna go to 2012 prom. 2012 but, uh, was a different. Motherfuckers thought the world was gonna end in oh, December. Oh yeah, 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 good, yeah point, good point. There was a lot of drugs in that prom too. Yeah, bit. the fucking Mayans, bro. Yeah, they, you know what they predicted? Hmm? Drake. They, they didn't even predict the show, the Mayans. <laughs> You're so fucking stupid. <laughs> we, got, we can cut that out, right? Yeah, we can cut yeah, that out. Right? Right? Yeah. They're like, what? Is, they're like, and they're like, why does this shit say FX on the, <laughs> in the hieroglyphics? Oh, fool! I thought this was on Hulu. It's on Netflix. Hulu, Hulu. <laughs> fucking Christopher Columbus came over and gave us Hulu. <laughs> So did they predict something of anarchy? <laughs> they did. They're like, oh, the mo- motorcycle. She's like, <laughs> handsome white man. Bro, I mean, if, the, if like somebody pulled up on a motorcycle and the, the Mayans saw, they probably would be like, that's God. That is, <laughs> that's, that's, that's God. Yeah, he's riding a horse from the heavens. That, yeah. Honestly, what else would they think? They're like, this shit don't, this shit don't yeah. add up. Yeah, but the, math, uh, the math ain't math. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the math ain't math. You ever go up to the
2022. Because <laughs> oh the way, shit, the yeah. way yeah. shit's looking, bro, like, uh, uh, nobody's, yeah. the way the climate is changing. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that's fake. Miami's going to be underwater in three yeah. years. Yeah, 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 Miami, yeah. that'd be tight. Man, the yeah. city's we're fucking We're due water. for an earthquake over here in California. <laughs> yeah. insane. The earthquake, we're due for one for a minute, bro. Imagine yeah. the earthquake destroys the 6th Street Bridge. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Dog, that would be, fucking... that's some John Cusack 2012 shit, yeah. dude. Yeah. 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 I thought you were to say John Q, the movie with Denzel. <laughs> that's some John <laughs> Q yeah, shit, Denzel, yeah. homie. Yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out Denzel. Do you guys have any more thoughts on the on the 6th Street Bridge or the Edgars at Nostra Farm? Uh, you already set up, but I, sorry, Daniel, one second, give me a second. We'll let you. Pipe down, pipe down. Pipe down. Uh, I want, dude, you already said it. So it's basically I cut Daniel off for nothing. But the view from w- east to west is, have you seen it yet, Miguel? No. You haven't gone on it yet, huh? Uh-huh. Bro, go east to west, dude. And then me and my girl, we were so, like, we both, it was the night of the HBO party. <clears throat> we, we decided to go after we were already he- heading home. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we had to go past and then come back down and east to west. It, like. It was, it's a beautiful, yeah. and it's like, it's an emotional experience where you're like, mm-hmm. oh my God, yeah. this is, we're, we're seeing, I'm, I'm looking at this from the point of view of like an Indian person in yeah. across the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Imagine like a, this being a tourist location. It's like the Brooklyn Bridge. You see yeah. how many tourists go to the Brooklyn Bridge? A bunch of New Yorkers are like, <laughs> yeah, Brooklyn whatever. Brooklyn Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bunch of New Yorkers are like, yeah, that's a, what's a fucking bridge. Yeah. But people fly to New York specifically to go see the Brooklyn yeah. Bridge. You know what the I mean? Top of the Empire State Building. Of course, of course, like, I, I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> On 9 11, they're like, look at the, fuck fuck. They're like, look at the bridge. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and, of course, <laughs> like you say, the vibes the vibes are immaculate there. Yeah. Of course, people are going to be like, yo, I'm going to hit up my homies to come through, bring some modelos, bring, like, you know, mm-hmm. bring the girls, bring all that stuff, like, bring your car. Like, of course, people are going to do that, yeah. bro. It's a celebration of the city. Yeah. It, it did feel cool to see cruising because I feel like cruising. You yeah, that's see, a lost art. You don't see it as much anymore. But like to yeah. see yeah. it actually happen, like, yeah. fucking. The that, hydraulics. That's dude. how people used to pick up back in the day, right? Yeah. Like, fucking, they'd, they'd see a girl, they'd be like, hey, look at that girl. And then she'd, she'd hop in the car. She'd hop in the car. She'd yeah. hop in the car. You know where you see cruising at all times, speaking of architecture? Huh. The pier, homie. You oh, always see yeah. works of art. Mm-hmm. That's tight. Yeah, yeah, dog. Shout yeah. out to my uncle Jorge. We're gonna go to a car show with him and do an episode about that. Dude. Oh really? hell yeah! I'm That's, super excited. Yeah, yeah. Like a car show like in at like a convention. A center? low rider show, yeah. Fu. I would love to go to a low rider. We're show. gonna do that shit, dog. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, excited. Hey, Fu, how low does this shit go? <laughs> how low? Daniel, it takes him ten minutes to get beat up, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah how yeah. low do you go, homie? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, this shit, this shit, yours. I'm like, <laughs> for sure. Wait, <laughs> no, wait. Hon- wait, honestly, I want to get real serious real quick. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. How many fucking Edgars could you fight? And at one time, right? And, and defeat. And defeat? One for sure. Careful, Doug. Careful. Two for sure. Two for oh sure. Okay. God. Defeat? Like, defeat. Like, I, when I say defeat, like, I mean, like, fucking uh, my foot on their chest, right? Ooh, Mortal Kombat. Okay. But, like, I could take a, probably a good amount. Of food okay. Because these, you've seen the way they fight, right? Yeah. They, like, they're, their pants are falling. And they're, I feel like an old man right now. Their pants are fucking too low. Fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, like, they swing like this. They, yeah. so they, that's how they would do it. You know yeah, what I mean? Just, all you gotta do is don't, don't, don't. don't. I gotta just throw some fucking straights, homie. I could be. Yeah, what if an Edgar joined the UFC, Doug? That'd be tight. I mean, I'm surprised there there hasn't been one yet. Bro, when I went to Texas and I saw the Edgars in Texas, I was like, y'all are fucking out here, out here. Like, they're straight up posted up and looking at me like I, because I had a regular, I have the fucking comb over. You know what I mean? But I saw, there was more... Edgar haircuts than like comb overs in the place. And I was like, also oh, too, if you're a frequent listener of ECMO, please connect us with an Edgar that we could yeah. possibly bring. I will through. say we've been we've been talking a lot of shit about the Edgar haircuts, yeah. but I saw a TikTok of this Edgar haircut, mm-hmm. but they the way they did it is they did the Edgar shit and then they like they shaved the sides in a way where it's just like a like a kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Oh, and that shit. shit looked fucking sick, dude. Yeah. I loved it, man. I, I was like this is hard, bro. Yeah. I might get that shit myself, bro. You have a fucking Damn. mullet already. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it. Well, well, also, let me know uh, what I should do with my hair because I don't, I don't know what to do. I might oh, just cut it all off. Or everyone's gonna say Edgar cut. You know, no, you should, uh, you should dye, it, dye it green. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miguel, can we, can we cut that? Hey, uh, yeah, too, yeah. Soon. Too, too soon. Too soon. Too soon. You're too crazy, soon. bro. Why would you say that? <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. and see, <laughs> and see. Ah, uh, yeah, no. You look good. You look that good. was I a good suggestion, though. Yeah, yeah. You look like now because if you, if, I'll say it one more time. If you dyed it green, you'd look like the fucking Joker. <laughs> I know, bro. Like, Dude, remember? Did it? Did like, why would the Joker live in like a cave in Iraq? Though? <laughs> like, Do you remember when I dyed my hair silver? Yeah, I remember that, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah and fuck you, bro. That looks fucking sick, yeah, dude. Yeah, everyone fucking... was like, Melvin's going through something. Yeah, yeah, everyone was just like, just yeah. be nice. They, they, they told everyone to get out of the class, and they wanted uh-huh. to be like, just everyone be nice to Melvin. 
<laughs> because he's going through yeah, it. Right I, remember, I remember blonde Melvin. I remember silver Melvin. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, like yeah. this, like Melvin. Now it's Mullet Melvin. Now, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. Long haired Melvin, Mullet Melvin. Yeah. Uh, like he refused to grow a mustache, but will have everything else but. You yeah, I mean? well, you, I can't. I can't. That's the I'm trying to. funniest shit, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to, but uh, but yeah, no. I feel like every two years, like I, a friend of mine told me that every, I I'm a different person every two years. You're like, like I look aesthetically uh, different as fuck every two years. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're like David Bowie. Yeah, because <laughs> remember when you met me? Yeah, like I don't look like that anymore. Like, nah, you, know you do. You used to be Bandana Melvin. Ben, yeah, ben. Bandana Melvin. Oh my. This was God. like Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, dude. yeah. yeah. I, you, I don't even know who you are without the bandana. Yeah. Dude, I don't even know where that bandana's at. And then like, I remember I, one day where we came through to the old studio and I was like, hey, where's the bandana at? And it was like a homie died. You were like, I don't talk about that no yeah. more. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, I was, yeah, and I, you no, gave I'm me a way like, too serious I, I'm, response. I'm, like, I'm really glad that you came, but like, I need you to not bring that up. <laughs> yeah. because that, just, that isn't me anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I was like, past. bro, but it, the, it was like, you're like, dog, if you don't fucking shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Man. I need your fucking shit, bro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I remember that. But that's how I met you was Bandana Melvin. Bandana, yeah, yeah. that was the first time we met. Yeah, man, man, you know, I love connecting people. Yeah, I love. That's true. I I love bringing people together. (laughs) Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm a man of the people. That's I want to go to the Sixth Street Bridge and leave a march, lead a march, lead a march. Dude, I think that would be so powerful. That would be sick, dude. Would you ever want to be like a Chicano activist? I don't know if I want to be an activist ever. Like Chicano spokesperson? I think. Mm. What Chicano? What? I don't really. I don't know. I've never. And it's not that against Chicano. I've never identified as a Chicano. But yeah. I guess a lot of people would categorize me as a Chicano. Yeah. But I, I never used that term. I never, in, in high school, even in the pop culture that I watch, movies, TV shows, all that stuff, I never was introduced to that word. Yeah, yeah. It'd be cool to be one, but like I feel like I don't want to be a role model. You know? Oh, okay. I wouldn't mind being an activist, uh, but I feel like that's got to be like, that's... You got to put that above everything else. Yeah, I if you're like, trying to be an activist, you're not, you're an, not activist, an activist. Exactly, not exactly. Nah. If you if you have in your bio, your Instagram bio, activist, yeah, or a, social a, activist, aspiring yeah. activist, or like chef, activist, writer. It's just like, <laughs> Doc, what are you? You're not a fucking activist <laughs> yeah. because a, a true, true activist will die for this shit. Dog. Yeah, yeah, and they will they they won't need they won't want anything in return. Yeah, they'll suffer. Yeah, the truest of activists in our history have suffered their entire lives. So you want to be an activist. You want to march on the bridge, homie. Oh, are you going to march for fuck with Edgar's and shit? Nah, maybe I'll, I'll do the Edgar march. The, 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 million, Edgar's. the million Edgar march. <laughs> <laughs> we march from the 6th Street Bridge to Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we shut down the five freeway brothers. <laughs> and we reach- Stop by the Citadel outlets. <laughs> we stop by the Citadel outlets to pick up a hat. <laughs> I have a dream that one day everyone gets their haircut Every, like an Edgar. Everybody yeah. gets their haircut. I'm like, wait, I'm like MLK. Um, what do you call it? Malcolm X, but like a, as an Edgar. Yeah. I'm just like, you being bamboozled, fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let it straight run a muck dick. Like, yeah, yeah. fuck, dog. And like, then I'm, you finish it with Gandhi. God, oh, oh, God. I get shot. Oh, like, God. No, no, you get, you get sucker punched. Oh, You get sucker punched and you'd be like, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that should be crazy. I'm going to be the Edgar, the, the, the Edgar we need. Because yeah. is, is there like any, is there any Latino activist that's like, oh, that guy's a fucking Latino activist. I'm sure there are a few. There like, aren't who pop, any. Who pop up, who like main character. Well, John Leguizamo right now is being kind of an activist. Oh, yeah. Him. Yeah, but he he's dope, man. He's been he's yeah. been making Chicano films before yeah. he blew up in the industry. Like He's Puerto Rican. Yeah. yeah. So technically, Chicano is like a first generation Mexican. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but so, I, yeah, I that's consider. Why, that's why I never recognize myself as Chicano. Yeah, so I consider like a first generation Latino. I can make that distinction as yeah. a Chicano because it's an yeah. experience of two different cultures. Yeah, yeah. And then you're being like radicalized into American yeah. ideology. Because I've always considered myself first generation student, first generation Latino. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Student. Yeah. I'm just an ignorant. Student Latino. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when when uh, you're the first person to graduate college and you're- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like that. I'm just an ignorant ass fool. <laughs> first generation I'm, I'm, DJ. I'm just here for the party, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm you're just, just a fool that, got, that just got too wild, bro. I'm just too yeah. wild, bro. I'm just here. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah. You know, I- Word up. Oh, no. I was quoting a-, a you, know, you know Drake took that line from somebody else? From Charles really? Gambino. No. Not a fuck, no. Bro, I, he, Charles Gambino put out a song. He was like, bro, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. And then fucking Drake- Drake, Drake steals bars it's all the time. It's literally not his. It's, it's, it's a George Strait song. Who's George Strait? George Strait? You know fucking George Strait? Who? The king of country? Fucking idiot, bro. Hispanic. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, Hispanic. Hispanic. You don't fuck with country music? <laughs> Hispanic. You don't, look, I mean, this, no, put that shit to me, bro. You, 
<laughs> don't fuck with country music? I, I, I fuck with all types of music. No, no, no. You don't fuck with country music. I fuck with all types of music. No, no, do you, I, it's a yes or no <laughs> I question. Enjoy, I enjoy some country music, So yes. if you don't know George Strait, that's like saying you don't know. It's like you read the Bible and I'm like, do you know who Jesus is? You're like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard of him. I have never heard uh, did you describe? Do you guys describe rancheras as uh, Spanish country music? Huh. Because hmm. I do. Yeah. I think, uh, uh, what do you consider? Rancheras is not a type of music, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, because I, I consider like corridos kind of that's like, different. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I love corridos, dude. Corridos yeah. are the shit. Actually, I want one written about me when I die. Hopefully, I get smoked so somebody could write a dope ass one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dope, dope. How do you say that? La historia de Daniel Cabro. <laughs> he led all the Edgars <laughs> from the Sixth Street Bridge <laughs> to Not Barry Not Barry 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 Barry. God, that shit would be so dope, bro. <laughs> bro. I would love like a fucking tomb. What is it? Ranchera music is a popular genre of music from Mexico that takes its name from the ranch. Ranch, okay. exactly. So yeah, country. So yeah, yeah. so it is kind of country. Then, yes, I guess. I, maybe every like, what if every country has its own country music? You know what I mean? Like I, country music in America sounds different from country music That's in Mexico. Crazy. And I from like India. India. I was about. I don't know why I would want to say India. But like, Egyptian yeah. country music is still like ah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh God. Have you guys seen Dune? No, we have. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, the soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just had Joshua Y back. Then. <laughs> <laughs> we we know an Egyptian guy, so we could say. Oh that. yeah. Oh, Joshua is Egyptian. He's he, featured guest of the podcast. Come on through, Joshua. Yeah, hit us up. He's like the me? most Egyptian food. Like he literally, yeah. like you know where he sleeps. Where? You know, most people sleep like in a ma- in a memory foam mattress and shit, right? Yeah. He sleeps in a sarcophagus. <laughs> Wow, I thought you were being serious for a minute. He then. does, he does. You can ask Karina Sagan. <laughs> Shout out Karina Sagan, you know. Wow, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Go to Matsu, baby. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but what, any other, any last thoughts on the Sixth Street Bridge or Ground <laughs> Perry Shit, this episode was just so all over. Yeah, it was yeah. all over the place. Any thoughts on weddings or- uh, Wedding, you know, This yeah, shit's yeah. gonna be called Wild and Out of Weddings. Wild, wild and Out, I guess one? Wild and Out, you know, because it's just Mex- like Mexicans, they do wild out. We do get, yeah. we do get crazy. Yeah. You know, I will say Mexican weddings are really fun. I like Mexican weddings, do they not tip? No, they don't tip. Oh, they don't but tip? They don't tip as much. You know what I mean? The best tippers, I'll tell you. It's what, not white it. and Asian? Oh, you never finished your list. Oh, I know. I was going to say that earlier because yeah. he just said that. And we're, he, he literally said like, and what else, guys? Yeah. Like he, he only wanted to say that one thing. No, no, no I'll say I'll say whatever. Uh, so, so so you said the bottom tier is a white man, Asian woman. Yeah, for the most part. Usually it's 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 tough. It's harder to get okay. people to dance. They're not, they're not you know what I mean? After that? Uh, after that. Not that it's bad. It's just tough to get them to dance. Yeah, it's tough to get them to dance. The vibe is off. It's, I, I, I'm just saying, where I gotta work. I'm like, these motherfuckers are making me work today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Now, now, now I told you the bottom, let's go to the top. Top, uh, the funnest one I've had was a Mexican and black wedding. Whoa, they, who's, who, who's who? I, you're just like, I gotta put a stop to this. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it was? How, how, would, you, how would you think it is? The, to, to get the most maximum lit? No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, a lot. When If I told you I did an Asian wedding and a white wedding, you could know. Yeah, white, yeah And if yeah. I tell you, and honestly, if I tell you I did a black and Mexican wedding, you could also know. Okay, so. It's a Mexican so, yeah, girl, so black it, man. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's Mexican like a, girl, black man. Yeah, it's yeah. a yeah. fucking hitch wedding, bro. Yeah. <laughs> hitch. You fuck with the movie Hitch? Yeah. Bro, Will Smith don't need to watch that <laughs> shit, man. Bro, have you seen Hitch? You get over Jay. What are you doing, Melvin? I'm trying to fix this. You're trying shit. to leave? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that was yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, Hitch wedding? Yeah, we're done. Yeah. That, was the fun, <laughs> that, that was the funnest one. Uh, bro, uh, that, I don't know what, because I was playing a bunch of funk music. I got to play some Spanish. It was just fucking popping. You yeah. know what I mean? But the funnest, funnest is gay weddings, you said. Gay right? wedding, gay wedding, gay you know weddings. what I mean? Gay, so it's, it's just gay like, weddings, then it's black and Mexican black weddings. Black, Mexican. And then uh, when I just do like a white wedding, bro, that's just fun too. Like, yeah. when, when, but it's white, white. Like, but not just, like a Billy Joel white wedding. Nah, right? Billy, because when, when I can just play some country, you know what I mean? They get crazy. Because cool. when they play some, they're like, we want country. And they'll play a little bit and they're like, nah, but we really want hip hop now. And they just want fucking hip hop. They want Lil Nas X. Why people love that Lil John song? Yeah. Turn down for what? Oh, they do. Oh, dude, dude, they get lit. They get a lot of people like that shit, bro. Yeah, but especially whites. I, I like. I, I've said this before, but uh, Mr. Brightside is gasolina for oh, white people. For sure. <laughs> it's fucking that, that's like one of the few songs you love that shit too from huh? the 21st century that like transcends all races. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll say not. I mean, hmm. Yeah, maybe. But it, like, I if uh, white people love that shit, they'll eat it up. But yeah, I played or that. Bohemian Rhapsody if too. I, that was a good Oh, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. I Yo. used to sing that shit and dance to that shit in theater, baby. Yeah. The littest I ever and been. When somebody like, asked me, uh, they're like, hey, uh, can you play Bohemian Rhapsody? I look at them and I'm like, fuck no. Get that shit out <laughs> oh, of here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, you know? how many girls ask you, play Bad Bunny, play Bad Bunny? Play Bad Bunny. Almost every fucking Mexican wedding. Every, yeah. Everything. Well, how do you feel about requests? Do you want requests? I or? love requests. Oh. I love, because let's say uh, you are marrying Gerardo, right? It's a, yeah. gay, it's a gay wedding. I'm the DJ. Mm. U
somebody that knew you in college is gonna have a song that oh, you fucked like they're like yeah. you're like if you play power like Melvin's gonna go crazy. Yeah. Oh and, yeah, and we already I, know that. And yeah. I wouldn't have known. Let's say I asked you, but I didn't know. I didn't know yeah. you in college, right? Yeah. Or like hypothetically, yeah. I play power. You like you like. How did he fucking know that? Oh shit? Oh my god, that makes so much sense. Yeah, dude. yeah. And, and it hypes it up. Wow, wow, I didn't even think about that. That's I'm, there's a psychology. To this dude, shit. he's a professional. I'm a you prof- are a professional. You gotta go to dude. a wedding, dude. And uh, you look, they know that uh, most of the times they know I don't know the couple, right? But I yeah. gotta sell it like I know these motherfuckers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a show. I'm putting on a show. Exactly. So yeah. are you so professional that if we take the wedding out of it, uh-huh. you can still control the vibe of a room? Yeah, probably. Like if you were the DJ of like a, a EC Mo fucking get down, dog. I think so, but I like weddings the most because oh, I, okay. I, yeah, I like, that's saying, your element. I love love. You yeah. know what I mean? I can go to oh. a, I can go to a club, but a club is different from a wedding because you're not there for like love. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I still like I like seeing a happy. I have I, also it's a bunch of family members, loved yeah. ones, friends. While at a club, it's a bunch of strangers. Yeah, and there's a wholesomeness to a wedding. You know yeah. what I mean? Like people are like, you were so, and it feels good to be like, you were such a fun time. You made a great damn. Memory well, imagine being fun. a fan of Isimo and then DJ Danny Vice does dude, your wedding. Dude, that would be yeah. fucking insane, <laughs> that would be bro. Crazy, bro. Yeah, dude. That'd be like Joe Rogan DJ. Your wedding, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That'd be yeah. sick. I'm just there to get Joe the party. Rogan, you fucking yeah. asshole. No, I'm saying it because you <laughs> said it was like Joe Rogan marrying you. <laughs> I'm trying to think my favorite part. It'd be like Bobby Lee and Chris, uh, Andrew Santino DJing my yeah, wedding. Yeah. Yeah, Andrew Schultz DJs your wedding? No, I don't, I don't like his. <laughs> I guess that was. Damn, you fucking love Andrew Schultz. Uh, Dude, you were, you were wearing, you took, you took your, uh, Andrew shirts. Shoulders, yeah. shirts, shirts. No, There's a rumor that you actually this shit is, I, I sent, saw, I, you sent him a DM saying yeah. you fucking love him. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. do you have any advice for up and coming comedians? Yeah, like, that'd be be crazy. crazy. <laughs> I start dick writing it. <laughs> no, I, watch, I watched Elvis. So I was like, I gotta get a shirt like that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I'm gonna watch Elvis tonight. You don't watch it tonight? Yeah. Oh what? really? Because it's Tuesdays, five dollars t- Tuesdays. If you guys want to come, let's come. Let's go. Go watch. Oh, I gotta edit, dog. This guy's gotta edit. So we knew what to be responsible and take care of the show that we're all on. You know how we have clips tomorrow because this motherfucker works. Yeah, dude. Yeah. While you sleep. And he's grats like this fool edits till probably like four in the morning. Yeah, he'd be it. texting us at three, four a.m. Like, what do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, I'm like for the fucker, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, fire emoji, fire yeah. emoji. <laughs> and I'll post the shit. And I think, what time do you wake up? Uh, on Wednesdays, I wake up at eleven. Yeah, I'll be, it'll be like ten. I'm like, what do you think of this? Like me posting this, shit? and then I gotta wait till like eleven. He's like finally waking up. Yeah. <laughs> I stay posting at ten. So ten a.m. tomorrow, <laughs> you're gonna see a clip. Like, yeah, yeah, most yeah, likely, yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna see some crazy. <laughs> Some heat, you see some fire emoji oh, shit. I hope so, dude. You like Selena? Oh, I love Selena, bro. Shout out Selena, man. Did, did you know Selena? Um, Selena Quintanilla, right? She fucking got shot, and she could have survived. Yeah, but her family was Jehovah's Witnesses, and they refused a the blood transfusion. No fucking way. Yeah, she was gonna. Are she you serious? She also, allegedly, it's a rumor. But yeah, that's kind of the thing that goes around. Oh my God. I don't care if it's a room because it sounds true. She could have made it. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. I never um, heard of that. Imagine yeah. you like, you're like, yeah, Melvin can make it, but we just need to do it. We just need to do a blood transfusion. We're gonna, and they're like, no. Dude. That's your mom. She's putting her foot down again. She's, She's like, just like, no. Nope. No, 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 no. How much does that cost? Do you like this boy? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? That shit's Dude, crazy. that's so crazy. Cause like talking about that and then Gandhi, you know, Gandhi, uh, one of his first wives got sick. And then there was like a doctor from the, from America was like, "Yo, we could we have a cure," and he was like, "No, no, no, I don't need another Western uh, uh-huh. Western medicine. Like yeah. he goes against everything that I believe in." And then later down the line, he got sick with a similar uh, disease. Mm-hmm. He took the treatment. Bro, that's fucked up. Damn, that, that reminds me of something though. Before we before we go, you fuck with Steve Jobs? Yeah, Steve Jobs. People find him so inspirational, right? Did you know Steve Jobs died from this rare form of cancer? Uh huh. It's this rare form of cancer. It's actually treatable. That's why it's so fucking rare. Like you can't, you don't have to die from it. You know, like most cancer will kill you. Yeah. This cancer was not going to kill him. But you know what he decided to do? What? This motherfucker, instead of going to a doctor, he's like, I'm going to go to an all juice diet cleanse. Oh. And you know what happened to him? He fucking died. Oh my God. Hubris, baby. Sometimes you got to know when you ain't the guy. Dude. Also like Bob Marley. You guys know the story yeah. about Bob what Marley. Bob Marley? Did he get shot? No. <laughs> wait, wait, what happened with him? No, but he had uh, cancer on his toe <sighs> and they could have simply amputated the toe. Yeah. But he was like, Ja was with me and whatever and like Damn. didn't want to get it done. I understand Whoa. the Bob Marley shit, but the Steve Jobs thing is just yeah. like, it reminds me of a Greek arrogant. story. It's like an arrogance, like you flew too close to the sun that you think you know everything. Yes. So here's a, I think yes. it's something that people got under, it, just because you're an expert in one field yeah. does not mean you're an expert in every field. That's he, fucking yeah. crazy. He would still man. be alive, but he decided to go on an, you know, an Ashton Kutcher tried to go on the same uh, all juice diet and he fucking got sick. Yeah, it's, it's that's insane, bro. But I had no idea about that Selena shit. I love Selena, bro. 
I'd be rocking this shirt, man. I, like, yeah. just I, I listen to her music all the time, I, and that's so crazy. It's the first time I'm hearing about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and uh, Yolanda, the fucking the fucking lady that shot her, yeah. is apparently going to be released in a couple years, in 2024 yeah. or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Do you think? Do you think she's going to be? Do you think they're they're going to try to murk her on the street? Um, who knows, man? Maybe anything for Salinas, homie. That would be crazy. If she got shot, do you think they'd even prosecute the guys that shot her? I don't know. But well, yeah, if, they if would. something was going to happen, wouldn't it have already happened while she was in jail? Huh? If something were to happen to her, yeah, I actually heard, it, I, it I already think, happened. I think Kodak Black sent some guys to <laughs> <laughs> to go knock her out. <laughs> wow. Bro, if Yolanda, Yolanda's gonna go to O Block and shit, she's gonna be like, what? She's, she's gonna, like, I'm here. What if she starts dissing people? She starts dissing King Von and she's like, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Bro, I hate Yolanda. I feel bad. That girl, like the lady, people, she's hated too, you know, because she just played Yolanda. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm oh sure the people, actress? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't seen her in other. Every time I see her, I'm like, That's the bitch that shot Selena. Yeah. yeah. That yep. sucks to get to be that good, like to get typecasted. Yeah, you know? that's fucking crazy, dude. I, bro. Shout out Selena, man. I love wow. Selena. I can't wait till Miguel shoots one of us. <laughs> Miguel, yeah, yeah. Miguel, he's gonna be the leader of the fan club. <laughs> yeah, the yeah he's gonna shoot you, and you're gonna become a, a martyr, dude. <sighs> Would you want to get shot and become a martyr? No, nah. but you don't you want a corridos after? I do want. I do want corridos after. Me, I don't want to be shot, dude. Why? <laughs> Why? You would want to be shot if I if I had if I had to get stabbed or shot. I think I'd rather. Uh, Damn, I don't know. Because if like you see somebody that got stabbed, uh, bro, how you let somebody stab you, bro? Like you let them get that oh close? I don't want to be stabbed either. No, not no, I'm saying like yeah. if somebody, I'm like, bro, like you let another man stab you? It's kind of that's kind of <laughs> sus. You, know, you let another man penetrate you like yeah, that? but if somebody shot me, I'm like, oh, no one got shot. And they might shoot some shit off of you, bro. They shoot off like five pounds. <laughs> Damn, dog. Low key fat joke right Fuck there, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck this I'm story. a hater, dude. Yeah, dude. If there's one thing I do, I came here to hate. Yeah. We'll catch some more hate next week, dude. That's it for us today, right, guys? You guys have yeah. any last thoughts? No, that's it, baby. This I mean, look, fun. I don't think I need that. No, I'm just yeah, like he, he goes on this therapy thing again. Yeah, if yeah. you guys get a um, uh, body shame Daniel, that'd be really cool. It'd be really cool to see him like gain a little weight. Yeah. Oh no, no, never. I'd be like, you know, the people who like in your high school that are like, oh, I'm praying that they get that I get fat. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, keep praying, dog. <laughs> Not yeah. today. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please mm -hmm. leave a comment below. We have given you a bunch of prompts. Yeah. Uh, like and subscribe and uh, yep. rate and review on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Mm -hmm. We love you guys. And we'll see you next week, see baby. Shout out if you guys want to book uh, the studio, uh, hit me up on Instagram. Or studio or, M. Yeah. This is where we M, shoot, yeah. baby. If you want to book DJ Danny Vice, hit me up DJ on Instagram. DJ Danny Vice, exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> see you guys next time. All right, babies. Bye. Yeah. Bye.